This is a timeline of the development of and controversy over Israeli settlements. 1967. The ceasefire agreement following the 1967 Six-Day War leaves Israel in control of a number of areas captured during hostilities. From Jordan, Israel gains control of the West Bank, including East Jerusalem. From Egypt, Israel gains control of the Sinai Peninsula up to the Suez Canal and the Gaza Strip. From Syria, Israel gains control of most of the Golan Heights, which since 1981 has been administered under the Golan Heights law. The municipal borders of Jerusalem are extended to include all of the old city as well as other areas. Residents within the new municipal borders are offered the choice between citizenship and permanent residency. This annexation has never been recognized by any other country. The Sinai, Gaza Strip and West Bank are put under Israeli military occupation. Residents are not offered citizenship or residency, though they typically have de facto work permits within Israel and freedom of travel there. 1972 Settler Population West Bank 1,182 Gaza Strip, 700, East Jerusalem, 8,649, Golan Heights, 77, total, 10,608. The West Bank settlement of Kiryat Harbor is founded, 1975. The West Bank settlement of Mala Adumim is founded, 1977. The West Bank settlements of El Khana, Beit Al and Karnai Shomron are founded, 1978. The last Israeli community in the area, Yamit, is evacuated by early 1982. August The West Bank settlement of Ariel is founded, 1979. March United Nations Security Council Resolution 446 is passed. The resolution states that it determines that the policy and practices of Israel in establishing settlements in the Palestinian and other Arab territories occupied since 1967 have no legal validity and constitute a serious obstruction to achieving a comprehensive, just and lasting peace in the Middle East. The resolution is passed 12 votes to zero with three abstentions. This is the first of many such UN resolutions against the Israeli settlements. 1980. The Knesset asserted Jerusalem's status as the nation's eternal and indivisible capital by passing the Jerusalem Law. The UN declares the Jerusalem Law null and void, and the Security Council in Resolution 465 ordered Israel to dismantle the settlements. 1981. December Israel extends its law to the Golan Heights, passing the Golan Heights Law, which grants permanent residency ID cards and Israeli citizenship to the residents, but does not formally annex the territory. 1983. Settler population. West Bank. 22,800. Gaza Strip. 900. East Jerusalem. 76,095. Golan Heights, 6,800, total, 106,595. The West Bank settlement of Giviat Zedev is founded, 1985. Settler population, West Bank, 44,100. Gaza Strip, 1,900. East Jerusalem, 103,900. Golan Heights, 8,700. Total, 158,700. The West Bank settlements of Beit Elit and Oranit are founded. 1989. Settler population. West Bank, 69,800. Gaza Strip, 3,000. East Jerusalem, 117,100. Golan Heights, 10,000 total, 199,900. 1990. Settler population, West Bank, 78,600, Gaza Strip, 3,300, East Jerusalem, 135,000, Golan Heights, 10,600, total, 227,500, 1991, Settler population, West Bank, 90,300, 
Gaza Strip, 3,800, East Jerusalem, 137,300, Golan Heights, 11,600, total, 243,000, 1992, Settler Population, West Bank, 101,100, Gaza Strip, 4,300, East Jerusalem, 141,000, Golan Heights, 12,000, total, 258,400, 1993, Settler Population, West Bank, 111,600, Gaza Strip, 4,800, East Jerusalem, 152,800, Golan Heights, 12,600, total, 281,800, 1994, Israel begins work on the West Bank Barrier, 1995, Settler Population, West Bank, 133,200, Gaza Strip, 5,300, East Jerusalem, 157,300, Golan Heights, 13,400, total, 309,200, 1996, Settler Population, West Bank, 142,700 minus 139,974, Gaza Strip, 5,600, East Jerusalem, 160,400, Golan Heights, 13,800, total, 322,500, the West Bank Settlement of Modi Inalit is founded, 1997, Settler Population, West Bank, 154,400 minus 152,277, Gaza Strip, 5,700, East Jerusalem, 161,416, Golan Heights, 14,300, total, 335,816, 1998, Settler Population, West Bank, 163,300 minus 164,800, Gaza Strip, 6,100, East Jerusalem, 165,967, Golan Heights, 14,900, total, 350,267, 1999, Settler Population, West Bank, 177,411 minus 177,327, Gaza Strip, 6,337, East Jerusalem, 170,123, Golan Heights, 15,313, total, 369,184, 2000, Settler Population, West Bank, 192,976 minus 190,206, Gaza Strip, 6,678, East Jerusalem, 172,250, Golan Heights, 15,955, total, 387,859, September Alaik USA Intifada begins, 2001, Settler Population, West Bank, 200,297, 2002, Settler Population, West Bank, 214,722 minus 211,416, Gaza Strip, 7,277, East Jerusalem, 175,617, Golan Heights, 16,503, Total, 414,119, 2003, Settler Population, West Bank, 224,669 minus 223,954, Gaza Strip, 7,556, East Jerusalem, 178,601, Golan Heights, 
16,791. Total, 427,617. April Israel and the Palestinians agree to the Roadmap for Peace Plan, in which Israel undertakes to freeze settlement building in all the occupied territories to accompany unconditional cessation of violence by the Palestinians. 2004. Settler population. West Bank. 234,487 minus 235,263. Gaza Strip. 7,826. East Jerusalem. 181,587 minus 176,566. Golan Heights. 17,265, total, 441,828. The Israeli government and parliament approve the evacuation of the Israeli settlements from the Gaza Strip and four settlements from northern Samaria, Nurat Kliat, resettlement of refugees in Finland and Cyprus, a comparative analysis and possible lessons for Israel, in Ari Marcelo Kekovich, Par L. Lutomsky, Population Resettlement in International Conflicts, a Comparative Study, Lexington Books, 2007, 57, 2005, Settler Population, West Bank, 258,988 minus 247,514, Gaza Strip 0, East Jerusalem, 184,057 minus 178,913, Golan Heights, 17,793, Total, 460,838. March The Sassin Report finds that that Israeli state bodies have been discreetly diverting millions of shekels to build West Bank settlements and outposts that were illegal under Israeli law. The report exposes the existence of at least 150 such illegal outposts that lack proper government authorization. The Israeli government confirms plans to increase the size of the Mala Adamum settlement in the West Bank near Jerusalem by 3,500 homes. Chief Palestinian negotiator Sareb Barakat criticizes the move, saying, This sabotage is all efforts seeking to get the peace process back on track, and the Israeli government wants to determine Jerusalem's fate by presenting the settlements and wall as a fait accompli. August all 21 settlements in the Gaza Strip and four in the northern West Bank are forcibly evacuated as part of Israel's unilateral disengagement. Plan. 2006. Settler population. West Bank. 268,400 minus 261,879. East Jerusalem. 181,823. Golan Heights. 18,105. Total. 461,807 minus 468,328. 2007. Settler population. West Bank. 276,462 minus 282,000. East Jerusalem. 184,707. Golan Heights. 18,105. Total. 475,404. November Annapolis Conference is held. Palestinians demand settlement freeze as precondition for talks however Israel stands by plan to build new settlements in East Jerusalem. December Israel decides to build 300 more Israeli homes in the Hahoma neighborhood of East Jerusalem, near Bethlehem. The move is condemned by the United States and the European Union. 2008. West Bank Settler Population 290,697. March The Jerusalem municipality announces plans to build 600 new housing units in East Jerusalem. U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice states in response that settlement expansion should stop and was inconsistent with roadmap obligations.
November the Israeli Supreme Court gives the Israeli government 45 days to explain why it hasn't taken down the illegal outpost of Migran in accord with its commitments to the 2003 Roadmap for Peace Plan. December the Gaza War begins. 2009, January the Gaza War concludes. June U.S. President Barack Obama makes his famous Cairo speech in which he says the United States does not accept the legitimacy of continued Israeli settlements. Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak authorizes the construction of 300 new homes in West Bank settlements. August U.S. President Barack Obama demands a complete freeze on settlement construction in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem. The Israeli government agrees to a freeze in the West Bank. Peace now argues that Israel is attempting to fool the United States. On 25 August 2009 Netanyahu says that he will attempt to gain an agreement with the U.S to continue building settlements before attempting to talk with the Palestinians. On 28 August 2009 U.S. officials said they would not impose conditions on the parties, but that it would be up to the parties themselves to determine if the threshold for talks had been met. Education Minister Gideon Saar defended the freeze as an attempt to protect the vital interests, Jerusalem and the relationship with the United States, and to avoid national isolation, because we won't be able to do the things close to our hearts while under international isolation. September Hamas leader Khaled Meshel called Israel's proposal to temporarily halt settlement construction in exchange for improved relations with Arab countries dangerous, as he viewed it as an attempt to avoid U.S. demands. The Hamas leader's opposition to the Israeli proposal was supported by Arab League Secretary General Amr Morsa. November The United States government voices their dismay at the approved by the Israel's Interior Ministry of 900 additional housing units at a Jewish settlement in East Jerusalem. A White House spokesman says the move makes it more difficult to revive Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. Settlements on occupied territory are considered illegal under international law, though Israel disputes this and consider Gilo, the planned settlement area, an integral part of Jerusalem. December The Israeli government orders a 10-month lull in permits for new settlement homes in the West Bank. The restrictions, which Israeli politicians and media have referred to as a freeze, do not apply to East Jerusalem, municipal buildings, schools, synagogues and other community infrastructure in the settlements. About 3,000 homes already under construction will be allowed to proceed. The Israeli government said the move was aimed at restarting peace talks, but Palestinian officials said it was insufficient. Palestinian officials have refused to rejoin peace talks until her total building halt is imposed, including in East Jerusalem. The announcement followed calls by the U.S. government for a total freeze in settlement building. The U.S. government, the European Union, Russia and the UN have criticized Israel's plans to continue building in East Jerusalem but both the US and the EU have stated that there should be no preconditions for resuming the suspended peace talks related to Israel's roadmap requirement to freeze settlements. Although Palestinian participants would have to give prior acceptance of Israel's claim to statehood and refrain from violence. 2010 March Israel announces plans to construct 1,600 settler homes in the Ramat Shlomo settlement in East Jerusalem during United States Vice President Joe Biden's visit to the region. Biden condemns the decision saying, the substance and timing of the announcement, particularly with the launching of proximity talks, is precisely the kind of step that undermines the trust we need and runs counter to the constructive discussions I've had in Israel. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon stated, The world has condemned Israel's expansion plans in East Jerusalem. Let us be clear. All settlement activity is illegal anywhere in occupied territory. And this must stop, he spoke both for the United Nations and the Middle East Quartet.
The mayor of Jerusalem unveiled a plan to demolish 22 Israeli Arab homes in East Jerusalem to make way for a public park and tourist site. 2011, February The U.S. vetoes a draft resolution to condemn all Israeli settlements in Palestinian territory as illegal.